What up though YouTube, Mace is Beast, and I'm back uh, for, I've been gone for quite some time, I haven't made a video and I never expected myself to, but I'm going to make this one out of my car real fast. Uh, so of course, just like everybody else in the world, I'm on Pokemon Go. Uh, as you guys can see, my, my game's a little different though, I have a joystick and a menu bar. That's because I'm using a hacked version of the game right now. Uh, just, just because I wanted to let you guys know, if you guys want something like this, check out a later video. I'll show you guys how to do that. However, this video is not going to be about that. This video is going to be about a completely legit, uh, locator. So you don't need any hacks, you don't need nothing. It's actually just an app. So if you go to your app store, it's called Go Radar. So I already have it downloaded. So of course it just says open. Uh, but yeah, this this is great. If you can see, there's only like 50 some people who reviewed it, like 50 reviews, like or 50 ratings, and no reviews actually yet. Uh, but yeah, so basically the description tells us that they track over 140,000 Pokemon and at all times, and no need to refresh or like scan like there was in Pokevision. Uh, it has a couple things. See, no scan is required. Disclaimer. Uh, the data used in Pokemon and or in Go Radar is all user submitted and completely safe. So I'm basically thinking it's telling you you can't get banned from using it. However, Niantic's uh, terms and condition tell you you're not allowed to use outside locators because it is still cheating. So uh, they're not associated, affiliated, sponsored, or endorsed by Niantic. So like it's just completely separate. Uh, if you want to use this, you can, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how exactly that works. So what it does is, right now I have it in Santa Monica, because that's where, like, it's just lit up with Pokemon all the time, because you have the pier, which is, like, I guess a nest of, like, Nidorans and a bunch of other things. So you have basically, like, every kind of Pokemon over there. But yeah, if you, if you look, it's just so stacked up, and if I come near me, there's a park nearby my house, it's a Bulbasaur nest, so... We'll go ahead and look at that, see if they any Bulbasaur's. Yeah, so you got like two Bulbasaur's right there in the front, which is cool. So uh, if you look at the settings, this is what I like that's better than Pokevision. You can actually favorite Pokemon. You can go ahead and favorite whatever Pokemon you want. And just like how it notified me right now, it's because I set on favorite notification. So if I come by a nearby, like if I come by a Pokemon that's one of my favorite, it's going to go ahead and pop up, whether the app's on or off which is great so let's say you're not playing pokemon go and a snorlax appears by and you would have never known you would have just missed it but this app will go ahead and tell you a snorlax is nearby show you where it's at you can go ahead and get them that's if you have the time and you're not busy so yeah definitely if you guys are looking for a way to replace your pokevision here it is uh these guys actually were super quick to jump on i think it's been like two days since pokevision went down so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give it a like comment Subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with more stuff, hack stuff, uh, just tips and tricks of the game. And then, you know, I'm not going to try to post things that everybody else has already posted. So I'll try to keep things fresh and update as soon as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, peace out, YouTube.